Okay, everybody, this is David Barnyard Bees. Here's a few of my uh, big boxes. I know a lot of people don't see when I talk about my big boxes. I, we got them spread out. Uh, we got honey yards in another yard. Uh, a lot of people don't understand in our our nuke yard <coughs> is for raising bees only. That's all I do here. I do have a handful and just a handful of bigger boxes and that's about it as far as this goes in this yard um, this this hive right here is extremely active of course all of them are you can see the amount of bees that and i'm right in the the midst of them And they're extremely docile. They're not. They're not aggressive. I've done videos where I put my toes up there when I weed eated. Right here, I'm still standing here with him. In front, I'm in my sandals, and they just don't care. You can a uh, little trick here, and I've done this before. I don't know if anyone's ever seen it, but right here I am. Right here's the hive. And you just <clears throat> get directly in front of the hive, and the bees will build up behind you. And they're they're so patient; these bees are that a few of them will go around me at first, but most of them, if you look, if I could show back behind me, I don't know if I could do this or not. Twisting around, you see, it looks like a swarm of bees behind me, and all those bees are just waiting on me to move. They're extremely patient; they're good bees. And I can hunker right down in front of the hive here, block their entrance, and they just don't care. Now when I move away, watch when I move away how they rush in the hive there real quick. Okay, here I go, I'll move away. Watch them come in by the loads. Look at that. See that? Is that not crazy? They just sit there and wait on you to move. They're just backed up. And then they go. You can see them. Look at the chickens coming. My little rabbit right here. It was kind of sad, little fella. I got a few rabbits. They just they just run the property. They're just my little tame rabbits. And that little fella there, he he comes up to me all the time. And I was standing right here, and animals are different, and I don't know why. The, the cats, dogs, anything. If they stick their nose up to these boxes, they get stung. The bees don't. Uh, they don't let them get away with stuff like they do with me or anyone else. That little fella, all he did was come up and stuck his nose around the corner right here. And as soon as he did, that bee come out and popped him right on the nose. He's okay. He stood over there and he shook his head for a while. But he's okay. But it's just amazing how... I mean, these, these animals around these hives as much as I am. That rabbit there, it, it comes around here. He's eating grass back there behind the hive right now. And that's all he did. He just, I mean, I've tortured these things to death right here compared to what he just did. And I've not took the first thing. And all he did was stick his head around the corner and pop right on the nose. But anyway, you can see how those bees are coming in and they're finally catching back up. I don't have to have a reducer on these because there's so many bees in here. Nothing's going to rob these monsters. These bees, these, uh, these double deeps right here got a lot of bees in them. They're packed out. But anyway, I just wanted to show that. I thought that was interesting, and I don't know if anyone ever seen me do that on film before where you, you make the bees back up, and they'll patiently just wait on you. And that's about it. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.